namaste and welcome back to grow with the jan family today we're going to be watching a video from we on talking about all the help that's pouring into india right now um hopefully not just money but vaccines supplies right. raw materials uh, oxygen i've heard um, a lot of countries have been giving oxygen tanks um, have been coming in so hopefully hopefully this will help um, get enough to everybody so that you know we get through this wave and That's, india needs help at this point like, yeah we need to bring the numbers down yeah you don't want to have record highs for um how many people have the virus and how many deaths every day yeah. like um it's getting out of hand way way out of hand and more than we saw here in the u.s even in our yeah. highest times so um, yeah, we need, we need, all, you guys need all the help you can get, um, but you also have to help yourselves. And we talked about this in some of our other videos is, you know, social distance, social distance, social distance. Masks um, on correctly. All the time. Yep. Um, we can't stress that enough. Anything that you can do virtually, do it. Um, you know, the government needs to crack down too. Modi G needs to crack down, like having elections, letting cricket games go on. Like this crap just can't happen. Right. Like it has to be, you know, get people vaccine. Like you should be going out to get your vaccine. You should be going out and getting food. Um, and that's it pretty much. Unless you're a doctor and you need to be, you know, at the hospital, like you really don't need to be out going to movies or going to cricket games or going to vote or going to rallies right it's just not worth it right now no so um let's start up this video and see um all the other places that are hopefully helping what's going on right now in yeah. India. 150 million that's the number of people infected by the wuhan virus worldwide since the pandemic began yeah. 16 months after this virus spread from china to the rest of the world the cases are still growing exponentially and it's India that is now driving this global surge. More than 380,000 people tested positive in a day in India. This wow. is a new world record in daily cases. India That's now has more than 3 million yeah. active cases. Total cases since last year, 19 million. The recoveries remain steady. More than 15 million people have recovered by now. That's more than 80% of all the cases in India. What about the fatalities? More than 3,400 people have died in the last 24 hours. Help continues to pour in from all quarters. Today, the first consignment from America landed in New Delhi. It had Finally. oxygen cylinders, yeah. N95 masks, and rapid diagnostic testing kits. Then we have China. Remember, a state airline had banned cargo flights to India from China. Now, Beijing is sending medical supplies. The first batch of oxygen concentrators arrived today. Reports say India has ordered 25,000 oxygen concentrators from China. Well, here's something else that came from Beijing. A letter. It was written by Chinese President Xi Jinping to India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It's a letter of condolence. It's the first time that the Chinese President has engaged with the Indian Prime Minister since last year's Ladakh border standoff. In this letter, Xi Jinping said that China is willing to quote-unquote strengthen pandemic cooperation with India and provide support. Delhi is yet to respond. Meanwhile, here's a ray of hope yeah. in these difficult times. These regions, the ones that saw the worst death toll last year, are now opening up. The city of New York plans to reopen 100% on the 1st of July. So far, more than 6 million doses of vaccines have been administered in New York. 36% of the adult population is fully vaccinated. Yay. France is also planning to relax its lockdown. Cafes, bars and restaurants will offer outdoor service from the 9th of June. Foreign yeah. tourists will also be allowed to visit France again. They will have to test negative or produce a certificate of vaccination to enter French borders. But what about vaccinations in India? Starting tomorrow, all adults will be eligible to get the shots. Good, go. Yeah. So we have around 600 million people, 600 million between the age of 18 and 44, who can get their shots now, at least on paper. Registrations opened this week. More than 20 million citizens have already registered, but there's a good chance that a lot of them will have to wait. It's okay. Just That's because 20 Indian Just states and union territories are delaying the third phase of vaccination. Okay. They do not have the required doses. The central government says vaccines are on their way, but the demand is still much higher than the supply. 
So if you're lucky enough to get an appointment, do not miss your chance. Take whichever vaccine you're getting, Covishield or Covaxin, both are effective. Like, I want the vaccine and I can't wait until they give it out for kids because right now the U.S. isn't doing that right. unless you're 16 and older. So. And being 14, you don't quite get to get the shot yet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do hope. I know they're in the works, but they do need to get the vaccine for everybody. But they're getting it in India for a whole lot of people. So like she said, it may not get right away, but get your name on the list. Yeah. My husband and I, we were on the list for I don't know how long. I kept checking website after website after website. It would say like, oh, check this place and see if they have any. And everybody was like, oh, no, 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 we don't have any. The quicker you get the vaccine, the better. The quicker you put the name down, the quicker right. you're going to get the vaccine. Put your name down and then keep checking back with it until they call you because you need, it's not a 100% guarantee. You're going to have to wear your mask. You're going to have to social distance, but it's number three and hopefully helping with those two things. If you can right. social distance, social distance, social distance, wear your mask properly and get the vaccine Hopefully, that will help bring India out of this, like, huge, huge slump. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I like, I love that the U.S. finally put their money where their mouth is and started sending stuff. I wish right. they hadn't taken so long. Like, some of this may have been avoided if they hadn't stopped the raw materials. Um, you know, I wish they had done more. I still know they're sitting on those vaccines, yeah. That they're trying to say they need to do, I don't know what with. <sighs> if people don't want to get it, they're not going to get it, which is sad, but you can't keep sitting on vaccines when other people need it and yeah. want it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We have way too many and we're not using them. Even now, like, you can, I can walk into the shop now and get a vaccine. There's no appointments anymore. They have too many and they keep yelling for people to bring their arms if they haven't gotten one yet. Right. Um, so why can't they send? There's 400 million vaccines. Like, they're just sitting on. Why? Yeah. So when India could use them. and But I'm glad some stuff has gone over. I hope President Biden does more. Um, you know, we know some of the other countries have given stuff. But I find it fairly interesting that China is starting to send stuff over. And that um, she has said that he is you know trying to help but right. it's like trying to um you know kiss up to somebody that you've already hurt right like i mean politicians especially dictatorship which is what china is they're not gonna just be like oh we're gonna give you all these oxygen tanks because we started the virus and they're just doing that now just to be nice. Just to be nice. Yeah. When really, I don't think that's what's going on. They're going to either ask you to pay you back or there's going to be some kind of virus in those tanks. Yeah. I hope there's not a virus in those tanks. India's struggling as it is. But, you know, he makes this comment like he feels bad, like he wants. Doesn't mention, which I love that she mentions, that it's the Wuhan virus because barely anybody says that. But they're called the Indian stride, right? In Indian strand, yeah. Yeah. It's an Indian strand, or it's the UK strand. Um, I mean, US is number one. Why wouldn't you call it the US virus? But we know it didn't come from here. You know, right. We know where it came from. That's the thing. Like, India and China have had this, you know, back and forth. And, you know, he says this like he's trying to be nice. And they're sending stuff, which I would say test anything that comes from that country and make sure there's no virus inside it, on top of it, anywhere near it, especially right. food. Um, you just never know. Like, I don't, I don't trust it. You know, every time they said they were moving back, they came back and took over a different spot at the border. Yeah. This is not like, you know, they, they send us something in the mail and on the outside it says one thing, on the inside it's something completely different. Yeah. You can't do that in any democracy, but in China, you know, when it's a dictatorship, they Thing can is, do whatever they we're, want. I mean, in the beginning, we said the world is finally opening uh, their eyes, but is it, are they really? No, they're not. Everybody here, we're still spending, you know, 
Biden's sending out these stimulus things to help people get through this tough time. You know, they've been affected. I lost my job. You know, I can't go back to work. The kids are doing virtual school. He's trying to send money out, but then people are spending that money on crap that's been made in China, which is where it started from. I kid you not, 90% of the masks you see in the store say made in China. Here's the thing is, you don't have another alternative. No, there is no alternative right now. We wish India was the alternative. When that package, when we got that stuff for Temple mm -hmm. and for doing those videos, I loved that I saw the lion that said made in India on the package. Yeah. That was like my favorite part. Forget opening the package, though I enjoyed the stuff too, but that made me happy. The lion. 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 Yeah. Like, I would love to see that on more stuff in the U.S. I would love the U.S. to expand and, and get some more country. You know, bring more stuff home, but get some more countries that have similar values that will... that hold laws like patents the same way we do you know you take your stuff to china they don't believe in patents they steal it they make it cheaper and now your company's out of business right and then so after he says this nice stuff like this lovely love letter to modi that he's like being all nice to him and trying to you know send stuff which i think is all political which we know this yeah. is what happens then on social media there's a post from the Chinese Communist Party that has a picture of a rocket ship blasting off in China and then a picture of a burial in India. And they're saying, like, this is how China lights a fire. This is how India lights a fire. Are you freaking kidding me? Thousands and thousands of people are dying. Millions of people have this virus. And they're basically making a joke out of it of who can shoot a rocket up in space. Yeah, well, and it's like, you're the ones that started the virus, and the world is dying from it, and you think it's a freaking joke. Yeah. Anything that comes into your country from China. Right now, this spike is huge in India. I do blame a lot of the political rallies and right. people still doing cricket games and not social distancing as well as they should. But how come the wave didn't spike any other time? Like, how come this mutant of the virus is so bad and why is it spiking so much? And so recently after, you know, the, they moved back from the border. Right. Another thing is like, you should check everything that comes in from any country, but China, especially because that's where it came from. And they yeah. found ice cream with coronavirus. And like, what yeah. do you expect from the tanks? Yeah. Yeah. I would be, <sighs> Oh, so careful with anything that comes from that country right now. Um, it's almost like they did something bad and now they're trying to like, you know, be the person, be the nice guy on the camera so that nobody suspects that they really like, you know, yeah. sent the virus through. I don't know what. Check the mails. Check the packages. Don't. Don't. Just be very, very careful. Like we said, when they when they leave from the border, they always seem to appear, suddenly appear. So right. I don't trust anything that comes from there. Anyways, we are glad that um, good stuff is being sent. Um, we do hope the U.S. does more. We've been sending our letters. And like we said, we have done a GoFundMe. We yeah. brought all of the money that we made off of YouTube. Um, we donated to PM Cares um, as Jan Family Support for India, and we're trying to spread the word as much as we can around here. So um, we hope if you're able to donate, great. If you can't, hopefully you get some of the donations in some other form, you know, where yeah. masks or vaccines or whatever you may need, food. Um, hopefully um, it gets spread around. So, and stay safe. Social yeah. distance, right? Yeah. What else? Masks. Yes. Never leave without it. And hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.